You've had this before. You know that mouth on fire experience. The sweat, the tears, the pain. All from something so little and friendly looking. So what is it about one of these little guys that can bring a person to tears? Well, it all comes down to chemistry. We're gonna cut to the chase. It's capsaicin. Capsaicin is a colorless, odorless substance, most heavily concentrated around the tissue of a pepper that gives you that mouth on fire feeling when eating something spicy. Capsaicin is not hot. That's right, hot peppers are not hot, at least not of a thermal persuasion. We just perceive them as being hot. So maybe they are hot. Now we'll save that debate for a philosophy video. Anyway, capsaicin in hot peppers or spicy foods binds to TRPV1 receptors that live in your mouth and in other tissues in your body. Among other things, this pain receptor detects hot substances like boiling water or piping hot food, as well as acidic and some bitter substances that could cause damage to our tissues. But capsaicin molecules fit into TRPV1 receptors. So when eating a jalapeno or something with capsaicin in it, the capsaicin binds to the TRPV1 receptors of neurons in our mouth, which sends neural signals to our brain, telling us we're eating something that we shouldn't be. The capsaicin is perceived as pain, causing our brains to send chemical signals to our body to get this out of our system ASAP. This is why when we're eating something spicy, our noses start running, tears stream from our eyes, and we want to drink something cold. Our body is doing everything it can to get this substance out, or at least to squelch the heat we're perceiving. The higher the amount of capsaicin in a pepper, the more there is to bind to your TRPV1 receptors and the more intense your reaction is to that pepper. This intensity is measured on the Scoville scale. Okay, say you just bit into a ghost pepper. The capsaicin binds to TRPV1 receptors all over your mouth and you feel like you're on fire. Everyone is telling you to reach for milk to alleviate this hell, but why milk? Let's look at the molecules. Capsaicin has an end with a long hydrocarbon tail, meaning it's nonpolar. And one thing about nonpolar molecules is they dissolve in other nonpolar substances. Like dissolves like. Water is a polar substance, so drinking water after eating a hot pepper is like mixing oil and water. It won't work out that well. Water will spread the capsaicin around your mouth, intensifying the pain. But milk contains nonpolar molecules, so the capsaicin will dissolve in the milk and wash out of your mouth, giving you sweet, sweet relief. In addition to their nonpolar powers, dairy products contain the protein casein, which attracts capsaicin molecules. So milk or ice cream actively pulls the capsaicin molecules off your TRPV1 receptors and dissolves them. And there's good news for those of you who can barely handle the pain. The more capsaicin you eat, the more of a tolerance you build. This is because the TRPV1 receptors on your tongue become desensitized as you eat more and more spicy foods. So go on, eat up. Oh, and one more thing. It's that gift giving time of year again, and we wanna give you one of our infographic posters. Let us know your favorite chemical reaction and why in the comments section. And we'll pick three winners at random to get a coffee, tequila, or moon infographic sent to you. The winners will be picked December 7th, so get commenting. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out to the grocery store to buy more milk. Mm -hmm. no, that's yeah. Thanks oh. for that experience. No, that's pretty oh, spicy. Yeah. No. And then it immediately hits. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Okay. What is this one? This is a Serrano. I'm just stalling. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's okay so far. <coughs> it doesn't hit right away. It's okay so far. All right, that's not a good one. <coughs> no, it's coming. It's coming. <coughs> oh, coffee makes it worse. Yeah. It comes back. Yeah. But I, I want to run, that I feel like I need to run. <laughs> like instinctively, my mind is like, I can run from the pain. I can detach from this feeling and not be here right now.